This week something completely different. I really enjoy watching the Richard Osman's House of Games on the TV and I designed a Facebook log or similar to how they appear on the game show. I thought it would be cool to try and add this to a coaster and was about to start filming but I ended up spraining my wrist whilst trying to play something beyond my skill level on the guitar. So my wife suggested that she'd have a go at making the coaster instead as she's never tried woodworking in her lifetime but she was prepared to give it a go. So we just decided to go for it and see how it turns out. Now when I designed the coaster I took a picture from my wedding day even though I was a fair bit younger back then. I cropped out my face and converted it to black and white. I did a rough selection of my face and in one of the filters on Photoshop Elements I found that cutout worked the best for this project. Now you don't necessarily need Photoshop as there are other ways to do this but it's just a method that I chose for this project. I then played around with the settings until my hair, my eyes, my nose and my mouth stood out and simply deleted everything else around them. I then filled in the parts that I had left with solid black and that was basically how I came up with the design for the logo. Now for the coaster all I wanted was my face so I printed a few samples out onto a sheet of A4 paper and handed them to my wife Hannah and then this is where she took over. So we printed these off to stick onto the coasters and made several copies just in case I made a mistake cutting them out on the scroll saw. Fingers crossed we'll not need more than the three that we've printed. For the coasters I'll be making it easy for myself by using some thin birch plywood and I cut several blanks on the band saw as well as a few pieces that I can use for practice cuts as I've never used a scroll saw before. I make the circles using the jig Lee made on a previous video and there should be a link popping up on the screen for anyone who's interested in making one themselves. I stick the blanks to the MDF circle using double sided tape. This stuff is really sticky and can be quite tricky to separate the parts once cut so I'll use a wallpaper scraper to separate them later. To stick Lee's face to the coasters I apply a few pieces of blue masking tape first so that when I use the spray glue it's just a case of removing the tape and not having to scrape off the glued down paper once all cuts are finished. I'm going to try some thin Pegasus pinless blades on the scroll saw so I need to drill a few holes to allow the insertion of the scroll saw blades. Having never used a scroll saw before I had a go at cutting some pieces of scrap to give me a feel of how the saw works. It was quite tricky staying on the lines but after a few minutes I decided to go for it on the coasters themselves and hope for the best. Things started off quite well but it wasn't long before I started snapping the blades.
It was a little frustrating, but Lee swapped them for the peg spiral glades, and that made the whole process so much easier. After cutting out the hair portion, it was just a case of cutting out the rest of the pieces. The spiral blade made the pieces so much easier to cut. Once all the cuts were made, I removed the masking tape, which in turn removed the image and leaves no sticky residue to scrape off. Then it was just a case of some very light sanding and the coaster was finished. It really does look like Lee's face, however you could easily mistake it for looking like Alan Shearer. Prior to making the videos on YouTube, I worked as a firefighter for nearly 20 years, serving my community and helping to save lives and promote the fire safety message. Unfortunately, an accumulation of many upsetting scenes became too much for my mind to cope with, and after years of failed therapy, I was retired from the service on the grounds of ill health and signed off medically from any employment. To keep myself busy, both body and mind, I developed an interest in woodworking and car mechanics and with already having a hobby in filming and music, I combined my interests and started making videos here on YouTube, filming, editing and composing my own music for my woodworking and car restoration channels Smugwood and Smugwood Mini. Unfortunately, to produce such videos comes at a price, and with minimal funds after being retired from employment, I've turned to Patreon to see if there is additional support out there which could allow me to continue making the woodworking and car restoration videos. In return for support, there are various levels which are explained in more depth at the Patreon link below, but includes the chance to win one of my YouTube projects made throughout the year, and also inclusion into random prize draws open to patrons only. In addition, I'd like to thank everybody who already subscribes to my channels, or watches, comments, likes and shares them as it all goes to help support my channels, and for that I'm really appreciative. It's my hope that I can continue making the videos for the foreseeable future. Thanks once again for your continued support. 